Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this army showcase. I have an absolute monster of a dark elder army for you guys to check out today. Uh, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly welcome. Siege Studios is a UK based premium commission miniature painting service with 30 painters who all paint from our bronze premium gaming above tabletop minimum standard all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then very simply what we need to do is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, select the relevant drop down options from those available for your project and requirements, and in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us to get hear back from us with a quote for your project and requirements. We're back in a second to have a look at this incredible Dark Elder army in more detail. See you guys back very soon. So first up as ever with this vast Dark Elder force, we're going to have a look at the three characters to lead it. And Simon's done a stellar job on these three characters. There's two Archons, and then we have a custom a homunculus that can also double up Zuri and Rakarth as well. Uh, so really, really cool set of three models. We'll start by looking at the two Archons. Um, our client gave us a really cool, awesome kind of purple-hued colorway um, with sort of blue accents and, and uh, bone work as well, as you'll see here. And Simon's done a really lovely job of uh, doing this awesome, awesome Archon. Uh, this skin cape is just phenomenal. Really, really nice selection of different vibrancies of skin color and hue um, with some tattoos, sort of portions of skin as well, which is really lovely. Um, again, nice attention to detail throughout the miniature from, from all the areas of detail work. The nice complementary sort of yellow lenses on the black helmet to the blue to the purple, um, but a nice selection of colors used on this uh, on this miniature, which is really, really cool just to finish it off to a very nice standard. So that's just the first of the two uh, Archons. Have a look at the second one. Very much similar, different pose, but obviously the same miniature but used differently slight different weapon loadout as well uh, different basing with like an imperial helmet and some other bits and bobs and again we've got the similar sort of uh, skin cape on this one as well but obviously a different tattoo on this uh, on this portion of skin as well which is really lovely so that's just the second arc on and then we've got the uh, the custom sort of homunculus which has had been a real sort of kit bash of various kits um, to kind of give him uh, a very unique uh, homunculus to, to lead obviously any of these forces which he wishes skin cape again as you can see there's some chaos skin with an eight pointed star on there as well which is really cool uh you've got an imperial tattoo on there like the aquila um loads of different bits have been used obviously to create this custom custom miniature and we've got this very very sort of uh funny kind of like um arcade soft toy grabber thing here as well which is quite funny um and then you've got all these uh tentacles and things obviously coming off him kind of looks like a, a dark elder kind of doctor doctor octopus uh which is really cool but you've got some yuri parts from yuri rakarth you've got obviously the homunculus model there's loads of different things used to create this awesome custom homunculus that can duel as a uh, yuri should our client wish uh, but every little bit of detail fully painted all the vials all the skin tone lovely purple uh, purple hue to the skin as well just show that really evil dark maniacal kind of uh character to this model as well um which is really lovely and uh, the, the, the metal works have had various areas of highlighting as well various stages to show those off nice few amounts of scratches on that sort of weapon that he's got as well um but overall a very eerie eerie maniacal miniature so that's just uh, the last of the three characters from this dark elder force guys do hope you like them next up we're gonna have a look at all the infantry and believe me there's a lot uh, they're all coming up next see you guys back in a second So there's lots of infantry in this force, as I'm sure you can see. Uh, we've got a great selection of miniatures uh, from this infantry section. Uh, you've got 10 Mandrakes, 10 Racks, 30 Cabalite Warriors, and then six Venoms as well. So a great selection of miniatures. Uh, I won't be pulling forward every single model uh, because obviously there's quite a substantial high amount of them. Uh, and uh, I'll start pulling forward various things. So we'll start with the Mandrakes. Uh, sorry, the uh, Racks to start off with. Again, uh, Simon's done a great job of making these look absolutely savage as hell. Uh, nice and alternate colorway. You'll see obviously more red has been used on these as opposed to purple, just to really differentiate these on the tabletop for our client. Uh, but you can see all the little vials and glass jars and everything all fully done. The highlighting of the skin done to a really, really nice standard. All the metal work picked out in a really cool fashion with lots of the uh, sort of uh, pittedness and scratchiness to it. So it looks obviously well used. Uh, so that's just one of the racks. Pull forward a few more so you guys can have a look at them. Awesome, awesome set of models. I love how used and, and damaged the weapons look and they really, really do look like they've been in the thick of it. Um, I'll pull forward some from the other side as well so you can see these guys as well. Really, really nice selection uh, of models with nice stages of highlighting done on them also. Uh, we'll pull one more forward for you guys to have a look. And these are really, really cool. I love the fact they've got double blades on these guys as well. Really, really lovely. Very aggressive, very menacing. You wouldn't want to be... Uh, 
caught up with one of these guys. And then we'll have a look at the Mandrakes. Uh, these are cool models, obviously fine cast miniatures, which have uh, lasted the test of time as well. But you can see that lovely kind of uh, yellow etheric glow coming off of the arm there as well. Um, it's very, very pale, as you'll see, which is uh, quite nice. But blue cloth work all done there on him as well. Pull forward a few more of these just so you can check them out. Again, another Mandrake here, again, with a, like a cleaver kind of thing as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's just another Mandrake. I'll pull some forward from the other squad on the other side so you can check these out as well. But similar sort of poses. Um, again, being a stock single pose uh, range of miniatures pretty much, but uh, you've got some lovely attention to detail on the sort of chest and sort of scars and tattoos and things that are on him there uh, as well. But nice subtle highlighting on the cloak as well, which is really cool. Um, and then we'll move on and start looking at the Cabalite Warriors. Again, really, really lovely selection of Cabalite Warriors here. And again, you can see uh, the same purple kind of armor color that's done throughout the force. Um, all the attention to detail done on the edge, highlighting on the armor, and the blue teal aspects, the gun work and everything at all as well. Uh, we'll pull forward a variation of these with rifles. Each unit has got a, a five-man unit uh, with a variation of weapon loadouts for our client as well. So again, you've got all the gold work and silver work and everything all fully painted and picked out on these guys as well. Uh, we'll just pull forward a selection of a few more of these for you to check out. Uh, but again, really, really cool variation of poses that you can achieve with a Dark Elder kit and uh, nice little trinkets and weapons and things on them as well. But they look very evil and very menacing. And obviously we're matching um, a style of the scheme that our client requested on this force as well, just to give it a very evil, evil kind of look, uh, which is requested. But really loved working on this colorway. Um, the teal and, and sort of purpley pink was really nice. So that's just some of the worries. And then we'll have a look at this awesome, awesome selection of vehicles for the force. So again, similar to, uh, to the fires that you'll see later and also the raiders and uh and other vehicles and units that come later in the video but a uh, really really cool etheric kind of purpley pink kind of scheme with this uh, stenciling kind of effect on some areas of the uh of the hull and fuselage uh, all the screens obviously done in this blue teal color to complement and we've got this lovely free-handed vine work that's been done on various areas of all the models as well just to give it that attention to detail um i love the like teal shoulder pad on this guy as well and what you'll notice also on all of the sort of um uh, material sections is that they've got this lovely kind of subtle sign of texture kind of finish onto the material sections to differentiate it from the armor of the vehicle and also make it look like material as well and you've got the lovely thorn work that's also done on there as well uh, so that's just one i will pull forward a second one so you guys can have a look at the second one just to show you another minute another of the same miniature just so you can see the consistency from model to model um again you can see we've got this really really cool vine work that's been in down there all the bones and skulls and everything all fully highlighted and painted throughout and all those little intricate little details um but you'll see all the uh, flesh work done on the gunners um all the edge highlighting done the armor panels and everything to a really really proficient standard you've got the rhyme work as i mentioned again you can see that lovely texture the subtle texture on this cloth work of these banners and things that do go on the venoms uh, but again a really really eerie and evil looking scheme uh, for this army so that's all of the infantry and transports up next we're going to have a look at some of the heavy hitting units from the force plus also we're going to finish off with the awesome set of flyers that come with this army so stick around they're coming up next so next up, let's have a look at some of the heavier units of this Dark Elder force. Um, after that massive infantry and transports, now we're going to have a look at the uh, sort of more uh, heavy hitting units. Um, six Talos and three Ravagers. Um, the Ravagers are all fully magnetized and we have a massive, massive bag of spare parts uh, that are magnetized to go with this project. So if you do wonder why there are no actual guns on the Ravagers, because they're all magnetized and there's loads and loads of bits. Um, so we'll start by looking at some of these awesome Talos models. Uh, really always love the Talos model, extremely aggressive looking miniature. Um, and yeah, lots and lots of eerie parts all over it. You can see all the vials and energy parts all done in that complementary blue or teal color that's going across the force, plus some vine work that's been freehanded onto the carapaces of these. All the metal work with a bit of rust and also some grime and detritus put onto them as well. And you've got that lovely uh, purple etheric kind of evil looking scheme across these as well. So that's just the first of these Talos's. I'll pull forward a few just so you guys can have a look at them. But overall, a really, really awesome selection of miniatures. Uh, again, you can see here this Talos just with that little vine work done on the carapace. All their sort of etheric kind of blue and purples really complement each other really lovely, uh, which I think is great. Nice subtle gold work and the metal work is very pitted and, and damaged as well. So it looks like it's old and decrepit, which is great. Fits the very dark and eerie theme of this, uh, of this army. Um, pull forward one more so you can have a look at them there are obviously six Talos in the force as you'll see um, but again you've got this awesome awesome selection of miniatures in this army in this large army that we've had the pleasure of working on for our client um, but all the vine work I'm done on there as you can see in that sort of blue tealy kind of colour 
So that's just one of the uh, other, other Talos models. Uh, we'll then pull forward and have a look at some of these Ravagers. Again, awesome models. Uh, been around obviously since the test of time. Really, really great miniature. Um, and what I do like specifically is that uh, Simon's done a stellar job of making the sails and material parts look like material with a very subtle kind of technique, which just adds a bit of interest and texture to those. So you can just see if I move those, they look like they're material. And obviously the sails have got those lovely, lovely kind of uh, vine work pattern that's just included on those. As I mentioned, all the guns are magnetized if you're wondering where the barrels are, and that's just so our client can change those over. But you've got that lovely pitted kind of damaged kind of like metal and areas as well, which is really cool. Uh, but again, you've got all the different areas of detail on these poorly painted in a really, really super, super clean fashion. Uh, nice edge highlighting throughout on all the uh, armor panels. You've got that very kind of cool um, templated stenciled kind of look on some areas of the model as well, much like the bombers that you'll see later and the fighter that you'll see later as well at the end of this video. Um, and again, really like the complementary colors of the purple and the teal. I think they just work extremely well uh, and give you a really, really unique and vibrant looking force for the army as well. So that's just one of the ravages. I will pull forward another one just so you can have a look at another one in a bit more detail, just to see the consistency from miniature to miniature. Again, same here, you've got the vine work done on the, uh, on the hull and also on the sail, plus also on the extra little bits and bobs. You've got the commander there with his hand on the controls. Uh, all the buttons and dials are all fully painted on those control columns as well, which is really nice. Uh, all the gunners are obviously painted just like the infantry you've seen in the force as well. Um, and then move around a little bit more. You can see just the stencil pattern on the front there, plus some more vine work. Again, really, really lovely, lovely uh, colorway and also a design pattern used on these models as well. So that's just all the Ravagers and all the Talos of the Force. Up next, we're gonna have a look at the flyers. They're coming in, so get ready. And last, but by no means the least, we have all of the air reinforcements for this Dark Elder Force. Uh, two fighters and one bomber, really, really awesome miniatures. Elder Flyers are some of my favorite, I think, from the 40K universe. Um, and I think these are just pipped by the uh, Craft World Elder Flyer. But uh, I think they're very, very close, in my opinion, when it comes to the look of them. So let's just dive in, have a look. Awesome, awesome colorway, as you'll see. Simon's done a stellar job of making the uh, the nice uh, sort of volumes on this miniature look really, really lovely. Uh, nice dark recesses and brighter points as well with this really cool sort of uh, stencilized pattern that's been done on the uh, on the flanks as well of the fuselage. Uh, got these blue canopies as well. And then we've got some free-handed thorn work that's been done on them as well. Uh, but a lovely, lovely, super, super awesome, kind of ethereal kind of finish to these guys. Uh, great, very aggressive looking flyer. So that's the first one. Uh, you can see the little gems and things are painted as well with like a black kind of tinge to them as well, just to really give them like an eerie and evil kind of look. Um, we wanted to play as much as possible using our client's colorway to uh, to make them look as evil as possible. Um, and this is obviously the second one there. You can see that lovely free-handed rose pattern just on there, or thorn pattern just done on there. Um, you've got that lovely kind of uh, stencil work done on the, uh, on the flanks of the wings and the fuselage a little bit as well. But overall, a really, really awesome, awesome model with that soft underglow as well which i think is really lovely uh, so that's just the second fighter then let's pull forward the big guy the bomber uh, again a really lovely lovely miniature um, with loads and loads of uh, detail and volumes and things on it so it's a great great miniature two uh, canopies as you'll see obviously both of them done in that complementary blue um, that's been used across the force and uh, obviously more vine work that's been put on there as well but overall Really, really cool miniature. Uh, very, very sleek and aggressive. And you can see all the metal works and bomb loads and all those bits and bobs all fully painted on this miniature as well. Uh, so that's just the bomber of the force. Um, we're going to come back in a second and have a look at the whole entire army in all its glory once again. I do hope you can stick around for that. You can find out how to take out a project with us, be it a large army like this or a character which we specialise in or a small force. See you guys back in a second. So thanks ever so much for watching the video, guys. I really hope that you've loved this custom scheme Dark Elder Army, which uh, our client has come up with. Really, really had loads of fun working on it. I know Simon thoroughly enjoyed the scheme and all the models involved within the force. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a character which we specialise in, a small force or a vast army, much like this Dark Elder Army, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, all you need to do very simply please select the relevant drop down options from those available for your projects and requirements. And then in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format and fire that off to us to hear back from us with a quote on your project and requirements. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. While you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favor, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you are notified when new showcase videos do go up on the channel. 
And also in the description of the video, you can find all the links to our social media, so Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. Please go give us a like and follow respectively on those to keep up with all the things that we do here at Siege. Uh, really appreciate you watching the video. Thank you ever so much, and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.